how do we convert a video file to an audio file so we can use it in GarageBand? Let's show you a couple of options. I'm gonna show you one option for free that works pretty well, and then I'm gonna show you a second option that you'll need to buy an app for that works really well. So let's start with the free way, shall we? So what you're gonna need is to download a particular app. Now the app is this one here, it is called File Converter. You can see that I've been using it here. It is literally a file converter. You can choose a whole bunch of different audio, video, and uh, other file types, and you can convert them to a whole bunch of file types. So this is the app and it is linked down in the description below. To show you how to use it, first let's show you from a photo in your Photos app. So if we come here to Photos, we're here, uh, oh, we're not there, there we go, we're in our Photos library. Now I've got this video for my recent song, Time McFlies. It's this one here. It sounds like this. It sounds very loud. Uh, so this is our my, my new song, Time McFlies. Now, I actually obviously have the video for this, but what if I didn't? What if I wanted to be able to share this, uh, this video as just the audio? Well, the way we do that is if we hit the select button up the top here and we tap on it and then hit the share button, this will take us to our standard share sheet, which you should be pretty familiar with here. And what we can actually do is we can send this to file converter and we can convert it to an audio file. Now, if you don't have file converter there and you don't have it downloaded, you may need to hit the more button here and just make sure that here you've got file converter. It'll be down here and you can even make it one of your favorites. If you hit edit and hit plus, then now file converter will be in your share sheet every time. Let's hit done and uh, let's come over here and hit file converter. This will open the app and it will say, right, you've got this file down here, yeah? This is this image 1980, that, that's pretty fitting. It's a 1980s tune, it's image 1980. It's an MP4 file. We wanna convert it to an audio file to bring it into GarageBand. So we're gonna tap on audio converter and if we scroll down over here on the right, we want it to be a WAV file. Now you always wanna convert into a WAV file first. You want the best quality audio because if you compress it to an MP3 or an M4A, you're gonna lose some quality. Quality. So we'll tap on wave. So here it is. We've got the ability to output this. Now our settings here, if we tap on this one, you got a whole bunch of settings, right? So you can come in here and set this, the frequency for GarageBand. You want this to be 44,100. 44.1 kilohertz is the standard frequency that GarageBand uses. And the channels here, you want this to be in stereo, yeah? All the rest of these you can basically leave. So you don't want to normalize or reverse it or do a bunch of other things. You want to leave that all as it is. And then we want to hit save. That will save in these settings for WAV files and you only have to do that once. Now all we need to do is hit the start conversion button. It fills our cup and there you go. We've got it done there. Now, is this app free? Yes. Does it work all the time? Kind of. You can see there's an ad down the bottom there for Telstra. And if you do multiple conversions in one session, it will say you either need to pay, go premium, or it'll say that you need to watch an ad to do that conversion. So keep that in mind that it won't work every single time. And when it does, you may need to watch an ad because again, free. Remember, when something's free, you're the product. Now all we need to do is you can see we've got this saved as a WAV file. We now need to share this. So we'll hit the share button and we can just save this anywhere in our files. So we'll hit save to files. It'll bring it up here. Let's just dump it in our Studio Live Today folder here on iCloud Drive. You can, of course, save it anywhere else on your iCloud Drive, on your iPad, anywhere else you like, but we'll just pop it here in Studio Live today and hit save. And it's as simple as that. Now to bring this file into GarageBand, let's come over to a GarageBand project. Here's one I prepared earlier that we've been working on. Uh, so we wanna bring this audio file into GarageBand. What we need to do is just tap on this button up here, go to files, and then we're going to browse items from the files app. Tap on that one. We're then gonna navigate here to where we saved that file. So we know that we saved it under iCloud Drive, Studio Live Today, and there it is. There's two versions of it, in fact, because I did a test run, because you always gotta test things. Now, you may also wanna make rename this. So if we tap and hold on it and rename it, just so that we know what which one it is when we import it, just go Time McFlies and hit Enter. And then we tap on that one. That's now gonna bring this into this list. And boom, if we scroll on down to our cheese, we should find that there it is. And now to bring it into our project, we just tap it, drag it in, and boom. And now we have this song right here in our GarageBand project. And it's as simple as that. So any video file that you have in your Photos app, you can do that for. Now, 
You're probably one step ahead of me. What if you've got a file that's actually just in your files app here? So you've just got a video file that you've downloaded or acquired in some way, and you wanna convert that to audio. Well, there's a way to do that too. So what I'm gonna do is I'll go here into my uh, my video stings and transitions here. So here we've got some, uh, some so these are some of the Studio Live Today themes. So if we tap on this one, it'll uh, play this. This is uh, one of my little stings that I use here on the channel. <laughs> Cool. So we can do the same thing with this, exactly the same method with these files. And you can convert all sorts of different file types, um, you know, AVI files and MP4s and whatever you've got your hands on. So we'll hit select, we'll tap on this one. Again, down in the bottom left, we'll hit the share button. And once again, we're gonna go file converter. Should be pretty simple to do this time. Uh, if we go back to the home button first, so you can see here, always look in the bottom left. This will tell you which your source file is. So we've got this little MP4 file there, audio converter. Once again, we tap on wave. And once again, we hit start conversion. Uh, boom, quick as that, there it is. We then share it from here. We're getting good at this now, aren't we? We can hit save to files, save it wherever we want, and there you go, that is done. If we then come over here to our files, you'll notice that if we go to our main Studio Live Today folder, there it is. So there's an audio file, and to bring that in, we use the exact same method to bring it into GarageBand, and we're good to go. Uh, I'm gonna show you a one more method of getting a video here, and before I share this one, please, Make sure if you're using this method that you are only using videos that you own or that you have the rights to use. Now that I've said that, if you want to be able to convert something, say you say I've given you permission to remix one of my songs, which I'm more than likely to do. Here is my song Imagination, yeah? And let's just say that I said to you, um, oh, you can totally use my song Imagination, I just don't have the time to download it for you and send it to you. How are you going to get the audio? So you want it to sample, the Russ 8889, you want to sample one of Pete John's songs and you want to be able to do that. Well, guess what? You can do that using the screen recorder. And again, make sure you have permission before you use this, but to use the screen recorder, you slide in from the top right on this device or from the bottom on a device that uh, is a smaller iPhone device. And we're going to tap and hold on this record button until this pops up here. And what we're going to need to do is record the screen to our Photos app and hit the Start Recording button, making sure that our microphone is off. We're going to hit Start Recording, and uh, it's not going to work in this case. Why? Because I'm using AirPlay to demonstrate this. So screen recording doesn't work when we're using AirPlay. But in a normal use case, it will actually pop up there and it will start recording your screen. Once it's done that, what it does is it pops that screen recording into your Photos app. So you can come into your Photos app and then, yep, you guessed it, just as we did with this one or with any other video in your Photos app, you can then use that same conversion method using File Converter to convert that video to audio. Now, I've said it three times already, but I must stress, please do not use copyrighted material. Please do not use videos or extract audio from videos that you don't have the permission to use. You're gonna land yourself in hot water. And uh, yeah, if you come crying to me when you release something on YouTube and then you get your channel blocked, uh, I won't be too sympathetic because we've given you fair warning. Final tip here is what I tend to use instead of that process. Because like I said, File Converter works pretty well, it's pretty reliable, and it's pretty good um, It's pretty good from consistency point of view. But if you've got other video files that perhaps are a different format or that are not working here, what I actually use these days is this app here, Luma Fusion. And you can see here, I've already done this in this one, but let's just uh, redo it again. So here I've got Luma Fusion, and I've got my standard template, my project that I use here. Any video file that you have anywhere on your Photos app or anywhere on your iPad, you can actually import into here. So let's just do that same thing again. We'll come in here and we'll import media. We'll once again go to our Files app and let's go to that same section we had before in Studio Live Today. iCloud Drive, we'll go to Studio Live Today and we'll go to those uh, video stings and transitions. Let's grab this longer version this time. We tap on that one. It's gonna import it here into our imported files section into, uh, into LumaFusion. Then all I need to do is drag this down to here, plonk it on there, and look at this, we're good to go. Now, if we export this down in the bottom right here in LumaFusion, we hit the export button and we export this as a movie file, but look what we also have, audio only. Yeah, we can uh, export it as audio only. Again, we can set the audio quality, so it can be 48 kilohertz, which is what um, what YouTube will want, or 44.1 if we wanna use it in GarageBand. So I'd probably change that to, to sample it to 44.1, and I'd always change this to WAVE. You wanna make sure that's a WAV file. Then all we need to do is hit the export button. That's gonna export that audio, boom. 
and there you go. And then you can just save it in wherever you want. So we'll save it back in that same place. It's called a template, but you, you get the gist. So it's saved that over there. We'll come back to our files app and there it is. So if you're into it, video editing and you're using LumaFusion anyway, that's a good way around it. That's a, a good way to actually get your audio out of a video file. And it gives you more control because here in LumaFusion, you can actually edit down the video before you export it. So instead of, if I didn't want all of this, so say I want to just... So I just wanted like that last bit, I can obviously come in here and trim that down and choose what I want to export of that video and then just export that amount. So it gives you more control over e editing the video file and then exporting it. And again, as long as you come in here instead of movie, just export it as audio only and you are good to go.